What is going on everyone? So today we are looking at lead code number 155. It's a question called min stack. And so what we have here is we have to design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. Okay, so we have a class here, min stack, and we are going to initialize a stack object. And then we're gonna have the methods push that pushes the value onto the stack, pop that removes from the top of the stack, top that gives the top element of the stack, and then get min that retrieves the minimum element in the stack. Okay, so let's take a look at this and let's see how we can approach this problem. So let's say we have a stack, an empty stack, and we have the numbers one, five, minus six, 32, minus 15, three, and we need to create uh, a data structure that every time we remove an element we can always keep track of what is the minimum number in the stack at that at that certain point but we have to do it in constant time so let's try to look at this without doing it in constant time and then see what we can do to implement a constant time solution so let's say we put in uh, we use an array for the stack so this will be our stack okay and we can use just an array to represent a stack and we push in this one. And so, so far our minimum is one and we can just run through this array and get the minimum. We can push five and then when we call the minimum, we can just run through this uh, array and find the minimum. Same thing, minus six, 32, minus 15. At each point, if we ever wanna get the minimum, we'll have to just iterate over that array and find the minimum. The only problem with that is, is that it is a linear time operation. We're not getting constant time. So let's think about this. How could we do this in constant time? Okay, so one way is we could just keep a minimum. So let's say we have one here and we have a variable with min. And when we add in min, we're gonna set min to one. Now we add in five five does not overwrite that one, so our min will still be one. We uh, add in minus six here, and now our minimum will update to minus six, okay? Let's keep going. It's gonna then go to 32 here. Uh, 32 will not change this minimum variable, and then we'll get to minus 15, and this is going to update this minimum variable to minus 15. Now, we do have the running minimum, but the only issue is, is that what if we pop off this 15, right? Then our, then our uh, minimum now is minus six, but we have to iterate over this entire stack to go find that minus six and update it. So again, we don't get constant time. So that's not gonna work, okay? So let's think about this another way. Okay, instead of keeping the minimum in a variable, what if we created another stack? Okay, that's a mirror of our current main stack. And what we do here is we say, okay, when we push in, let me just go ahead and erase this so I can make it a little bit clearer. What we're gonna do is when we push in these numbers and we'll go step by step and push these in. Okay, so here I am going to go ahead and push in this one. And I'm gonna check, is there anything in that stack? There's nothing in the stack, so I'm also gonna, in their min stack here, I'm gonna also go, go ahead and push in that one. Okay, now we're gonna to get to five. We're gonna push in five into the stack. Okay, we're over here. We're gonna go ahead and push in that five into the stack. And we're gonna check, what is the last element of the min stack, and is it less than what is currently in there? So five is not less than one, so then we'll just go ahead and keep the one, okay? Now we're gonna push in the minus six, and we're gonna check, what is the last element in that min stack? It's one. Is one less than minus six? No, it's not, so we're gonna go ahead and push in the minus six, okay? Now we're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna go ahead and push in 32, and we're gonna check What's smaller, this minus six or 32? It's minus six, so we're gonna just go ahead and push in another minus six. We'll move on to the next one. We'll go ahead and push in minus 15, and we'll check what's smaller, 
minus 6 or minus 15? It is minus 15, so we'll go ahead and push that into the stack. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and put in this 3, and 3 is not less than minus 15, so now we'll have minus 15. And now, when we go to our pop operation, we can just pop off the main stack as we would normally. Okay, so we just go ahead and pop off this 3, and then we can go ahead and just pop off this minus 15. And at every element of the main stack, we have a corresponding respective element in our min stack that gives us the minimum up to that point. Okay, and so now we can pop off we can pop off at any point and always retain the minimum and get that minimum in constant time. Okay, so let's think about uh, time and space complexity. Well, our push and pop are going to be constant. So we can say push is going to be O of 1 time. Pop is also going to be O of 1 time. Okay. We have push, pop, we have uh, top and get min. Top is also going to be in constant time. And so is get min. Okay. The only thing we're doing is we're creating a little extra space with creating this min stack. Okay, so our space complexity is going to be O of 2n, okay, which we'll abbreviate down to O of n. Okay, so that's the idea. Let's go ahead and try to code this up. Okay, so we'll jump over here. And so here we have our prompt here. We have min stack. We have our push, pop, top, and get min. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use the JavaScript ES6 class syntax. I think it's a little bit cleaner. So we'll just do a class min stack. <coughs> we'll have a constructor. OK. And so what do we want to do? <clears throat> we want to create our regular stack. So we can say this dot stack and set it to an array. <clears throat> and then we want a min stack. So we can do this dot min stack. And we can also just set that to an array. And what this min stack will do is it'll just keep a running minimum of, this, of whatever's in the stack, whatever's respective in the stack. Okay, so we can have a push operation here, we'll have a val, and we can just check if this.stack if it's empty, okay, um, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and push that value in the stack and the min stack. Okay. If it's not empty, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to push the variable or the value into the stack no matter what. We don't have to do anything there. So we can do this.stack.push val. But what do we want to do with the min stack? Well, what we want to do is we want to find what is the last element in the min stack and then compare it to the value and push in the minimum value. Okay, so we can do this dot min stack dot push, and then we can use the math dot min operator. Okay, and then we want to get the last element in our min stack and compare it to the value. So we can do this dot min stack, this dot min stack dot length minus one, that's going to be our last value, and just compare that to the, the input value. Okay, so that's all we have to do for push. Okay, now we want to do pop. Okay, and so what, what do we want to do here? We want to say if the stack is empty, we'll just return null. So if this dot stack, 
just use a not operator there. And so if it's if the stack is empty, we can just return null. Else, what do we want to do? Well, we just want to push. We just want to pop off, uh, pop off the last value on the stack and the min stack. So we can do this dot min stack dot pop. That'll just go nowhere. It'll just be collected by the garbage collector. And then we want to return this dot stack dot pop. Okay. To get the top of the stack, all we want to do is return the last element in the stack. So we can just do a return this dot stack, this dot stack dot length minus one. And then we just want to do something very similar for get min. We just want to uh, return the last element in the min stack. So we can do get min and then just return this dot min stack this dot min stack dot length minus one okay and that's it that's all we have to do and i think it's just important to remember that you just want to create a mirror stack name it min stack or name it min whatever is easier to remember and just understand that as you push into the stack you want to push into the min stack the minimum value up to that point okay and then you can just push and pop or you, you can just pop off uh, min and off the regular stack as you would a normal stack okay let's go ahead and run that okay and we have success okay so that is lead code number 155 min stack i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you on the next one